Hello, this is Jim, and hey, you know what we're gonna do today? We are gonna install a graphics card. I have a NVIDIA uh, GeForce GTX right here, the 1050 Ti, and we're gonna be installing it in this Dell computer. Now this Dell computer doesn't actually have an existing graphics card. I'll go ahead and pop up the system uh, uh, information and show you what's inside this thing. Okay, so we are going to just go down here and type in system information and it actually just pops up right here and you can see the general description of what's in this computer. I'll go ahead and zoom in. And what you can see here, it is uh, running Windows 10, but this is a Dell uh, XPS 8920. It is running a uh, i7. 7700 uh, core um, CPU and it has about 16 uh, gigabytes of RAM memory. But if we kind of bring up the uh, graphics or display information here, and I do that again in search, I just type in device manager. Oops, and there it is, it pops right up there. And let's see, let's zoom in again. Okay, zooming in, you can kind of see right here, you kind of just scroll down, go to device adapter, double click that, and you can kind of see what's inside here. Now it doesn't have a graphics card. This is not, this Intel HD Graphics 630 is actually part of the uh, Intel chip and not an actual graphics card. So we need to stick a graphics card in this to really play those games well. And that's what we're gonna do next. So we went ahead and opened up the top here and just slip out the contents if it will slip out. And it won't, maybe I have to put it from the back side here. There we go. And we just pull it out and in bubble wrap, we actually have the card right here. We have some instructions. We have a little installation disc for all the drivers. And what else do we have in this box? And that's about it. So let's go ahead and open up the bubble wrap. You can see what it looks like. It, it's a single fan. I, I think I have to take this plastic off, but it's a single fan, not a double fan but uh, this should fit in well with this computer. Now I did do my research and matched the graphics card. I know it will run in this particular Dell computer. So do your research. I am not an expert on which graphics card goes in which computer, so don't uh, ask me specifics in your comments, but uh, do your own research and try to match your computer and your power supply as well. So one of the reasons I chose this particular graphics card is that it doesn't really require any additional power to it. It actually runs, I think, on like 75 watts and it doesn't need any external power. It gets all its power from the main slot. So looking at the manual here, now if you did need external power, um, you could, would either be plugging in a six pin or an eight pin pin plug right on top of your graphics card. Now these little pin cables would be in your computer. If you have an existing graphics card, you would remove the graphics card and remove the power supply from the top and then plug it into your new graphics card uh, in the slot, per, in, in the plug provided. Now uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, plugs are shaped a certain way to fit particular plug uh, locations. So you can't really go wrong. There's only one way plugs go into these things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just turn off my computer and unplug all the components out of my computer. Now one of the things I uh, like about these Dell computers is the ease by which you open it up. Now you just Pull this little lever for this particular Dell, and this little lid just removes. Oh, excuse me. You got to unlock these little keys right there, and then it pops out. And there 
you go. And then with these removed, this whole back end should just be able to pull right out. Just like that, exposing this entire area so you can work in it. So looking in the computer, you can see there's a variety of slots. Now, you have these little uh, plates right here that will need to be removed. But inside, you have this long slot and a few shorter slots. Now, your computer might be different. You might have uh, two or more of these longer slots. But uh, if you do, you just want to take your graphics card and see what you have. Now, for this particular uh, graphics card, you could see it's pretty long. And there's really only one place it could fit in that longer slot. So that's where we're going to be placing it. So as a general rule, if you're, anytime you're in a computer, you kind of want to be grounded. Now, I don't have a really grounding cable. You can have a little wrist uh, thing where you can kind of ground. And so you just kind of want to keep uh, in contact with the metal components at all times to uh, prevent um, ground, uh, uh, sparking and grounding. So the way you, t you want to take a couple of these slots out. Now, if you look at the particular graphics card, it's going to be sitting in like here, and you can see it's kind of wide on this end. And so th these little uh, plugs right here are going to fit in this little slot here, but we do need uh, this one removed as well. So we need to remove two of those little slots. Now, most computers you actually just need a Phillips screwdriver to remove these. This one, you kind of just sort of pull it out and you can pop these things right out and they come out pretty easily. So kind of pop them out. Again, if you have a uh, different computer, you just may need to take one or two Phillips out and then the slot will come right out. Okay, so we want to put this in really carefully. Now, this has a lot of room. There's not a lot of cables here, but your computer might have a lot of cables and you may have to maneuver things before you actually get this thing in. So the first thing we want to do is just remove the plastic that's on this. And then again, we want to put this part, this narrow part right here, into this slot. Now when you stick it in, there'll be a little click, there's a little piece right here that kind of clicks. So if this will focus, you can see the slot right here, and at the end there's a little lever here that comes in and out. And if you were removing the card, you would actually unlock it like that. But uh, with it being installed, you would just leave it here and there should be, uh, well, you'd open it up, stick it in, and then lock it shut. Okay, so before we put it in, we actually have to take off this uh, a little protective uh, rubber top here that we're just gonna remove really cl cl carefully. And you can see the pins. So don't touch these pins with your hands. Now, um, again, we're going to unlock. Make sure this is unlocked. And just make sure that we have plenty of room and we don't hit anything else other than trying to get this into the slot here. Now, uh, trying to keep everything grounded, kind of center it, and then just kind of push in a little bit. Not too much. And then when you're pretty sure that everything's properly in place, go ahead and lock that little lock. And there you go, it's in place. Now since this graphics card doesn't need any uh, additional power, we'll just go ahead and close up the case. Again, now there was this little plastic piece that helps support the card, just like that. This is already in the computer and that kind of holds it up in place. We'll go ahead and shut this door very carefully. Should lock up just like that. So we got most of the cables plugged in. Now the only thing different is the actual monitor cable. So this is the cable that goes to our monitor. Originally it was right here, the uh, HDMI plug for the computer. But now we're going to actually plug it into the graphics card. 
Now the little uh, cap that I've removed here, this is for the DVI plug. And we actually don't need this. I'm not, I think I'm going to be sticking this back in. If you have a DVI cable, this is where you would be sticking it in. But now there's a couple other little plastic tabs here that you could just kind of pull out. And this first one here is for the HDMI. And so that's where we're going to plug this in. If I can get in the right direction. And there you go. So now our monitor is plugged directly into the graphics card. And now it's time. Let's turn it on and see what we get. Well, I'm pretty happy so far. I mean, I didn't have to do anything and I already have an image. So this tells me that the graphics card is actually working. The next step is to actually in install some drivers. Okay, so I was able to load the drivers. It actually uh, blanked out on me and I had to reboot the system, but after that it sort of uh, ran properly. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Steam here, go to Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I was having a heck of a time playing before. This is the first time I've played it since installing the new graphics card, so we'll go ahead and see how well this runs. It was really um, running very poorly, so let's see if it will run smoother now. Alright, so this is the beginning of the uh, Rise of the to uh, Tomb Raider, and it is running so much better. It's very smooth. Let's see if I can get to a different spot here. The graphics look so much better. It was barely running before, and this card has really improved hey, this performance. Even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, I'm going to have fun playing Tomb Raider right now, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.